欢迎来到五分钟中文，欢迎来到五分钟中文，我是平。今天是星期五，耶、yeah, ，weekend。昨天是星期四，明天是星期六，星期六。OK， 昨天我们学了，谁？昨天 is a 呃、uh, time is a time we always put at the beginning。我们为学 to learn to learn the means learnt。昨天我们学了多。和少，多和少，和 means end. And at the end of episode, I left a question. I let you think, what does 多少 mean? What does 多少 mean in Chinese? I've told you, 多 means many or much or a lot. 少 means a few or little, few or little, because there's no difference between countable noun or uncountable noun, because we don't have such、um, terms called uncountable noun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then I put them together and ask you to guess what is 多少 and I give you the hint. The hint is 多少 It's a question word. It's a question word. It's not just a noun or adjective. And some of you probably, I'm pretty sure you have noticed what is 多少多 means a lot. 少 means few, a little. A lot, few, a lot. Few. If you're confused, hey, what is a lot? Many, much. What is <gasps> little? Few. I feel confused. Yes, you feel confused. Tell me, what is 多少 A lot. Few. What do you really want to express? How much is that? Tell me the quantities. How much? Yes, that is what we need to learn today. 多少 is how much. Since you feel confused, you told me 多 a lot. Then you told me 少 few. I feel confused. How much you want to tell me? Yeah, how much? So 多少 you feel confused. So that's a real question. How much? How much? Don't close your wing. Don't close your Really, you think, hey, okay, I learned a today. She just want to tell us how to say 多少 Got it? She just want to tell us how to say how much 多少 I'm down. Bye. I'm going to have my start of my weekend. Bye. For some of you, okay. So more important thing is not just what is 多少 means how much. The more important thing is. It means how much for quantities, but it doesn't mean how much for price. Sorry for the people who have already left. <laughs> okay, again, one more time. How 多少 It means how much. It is to ask how much for quantities. It doesn't ask how much for money. For price, if you want to ask how much is that T-shirt, in English there's no difference. I always ask how much, how much, or how many, how much, or I should put like this way, how much or how many. Mhm.、Mm、how much or how many? Mhm.、Mm、in English you will say how much is that T-shirt, but in Chinese we put one more word after this. You say what is that? I'll tell you in the future. Very easy. Actually, I think I mentioned it once. Anyway, that is not the、uh, knowledge I want to you learn today. The knowledge I want you to learn today is 多少 means how many or how much. Like how many people are there in your family? How many employees are there in your company? How much water did you drink? How much did you learn today? How much did you eat yesterday? That is. 多少，多少 ？Don't ignore this word. After we learned 多少 it's kind of like you opened a door for yourself. You think, oh, that's just a door. Uh uh, the door lead to a much much big room. That's what I mean. Think about that. After we learned 多少 you can ask people a lot of questions. How many days will you stay in China? Right. How much water did you drink? How much did you eat yesterday? How many people are in your class? 
how many people watch China, learn five minutes learn Chinese? How many people like you? Right? All this it's kind of like this, like what I say, it's a door. I helped you open the door, but the, it's not only a door. The door leads you to a much bigger room. Let you explore. Let you explore. So the real question was very, very important. Very important. And I will definitely give you a lot of practice later. I mean, in the future. But since you are into Duoshao, you can ask yourself. As long as you meet how many or how much, ask yourself how to say that in Chinese. And remember, when you are doing translation, structure is the most important thing. Order is the most important thing. How to figure out the order or structure? Three steps. Three steps. Okay, that is the most important thing I want to tell you. That is the whole thing I want to tell you today. So I want to remind you one thing. When you are watching our video, please just don't stop or pause. I mean, you can pause when you're doing something else, but you, you don't think, oh, hey, she has already told us the vocabulary. I'm done today. Uh -uh. Sometimes I will speak more or tell you more knowledge, probably at the end of the episode. So please be a little bit patient. Okay, I already just five or six minutes. Uh -huh. Okay, I think I will see you one more week. The following week, we will take a one week break because I will be out of town to start my birthday vacation. Okay, happy birthday to me! And how to say that in Chinese? I hope next week when I come back, someone can give me a comment saying, hey, happy birthday to me in Chinese. That will be my one of my best birthday gifts. I do want to see that. Or you can record something to tell me in person. I mean, by record your recording, I'll be very, very excited to hear your voice in Chinese. Okay, happy birthday to me. Have a nice weekend. My birthday weekend starts. Bye bye. 再见. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and comment if you really enjoyed. Also, if you want to watch more videos, please subscribe to us. If you are interested in donating to help us, please check the links below. Thank you. Bye.